A magnitude 7 earthquake rocked Luzon on Wednesday morning, July 27, with the epicenter located in the province of Abra. The quake was also felt in other parts of Luzon, including Metro Manila. State Seismology Bureau FIVOX says the quake struck at 8.43 a.m. on Wednesday at a depth of 25 kilometers, warning the public of damage and aftershocks. Interior Secretary Benhor Abalos reports at least four casualties in Benguet, Abra, and Mountain Province. The earthquake also destroys the facade of the Vigan Cathedral in Vigan City, Ilocos Sur. The cathedral is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site declaration in the city, where many other antique buildings were left in shambles. In a video, portions of the famous bell tower in Bantay Town can also be seen falling off the structure. In Ilocos Norte, several bricks from the sinking bell tower of Lawag City also fall off and are scattered across the street. The 19th century Baroque Church of the Santa Catalina de Alejandria Parish in Tayum Abra also incurs damage from the earthquake. The La Paz Aglipayan Church in the same province is also damaged with cracks forming across the church's walls. In a press briefing, Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles says President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. coordinated with the NDRRMC and Department of Social Welfare and Development immediately after the earthquake. I am staying away uh, from going to the affected areas. Inugulo lang namin yung trabaho ng ng mga local. I said, let them do their work. Uh, let us wait for them to tell us what is going to be, what the, the true situation is. And maybe I can schedule a trip, uh, perhaps uh, tomorrow. Social Welfare Secretary Erwin Tulfo, who went to Abra after the earthquake, announces the release of 10 million cash and delivery of initial 1,000 food boxes to the province for evacuees. Follow Rappler for more developing information. Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte is eyeing to offload administrative tasks from teachers so they could focus on teaching. Department of Education spokesperson Michael Poa shares the Education Secretary's plans during a joint press briefing with the Office of the Vice President on Wednesday, July 27. Sa ngayon, ang plan natin, we need to upskill yung ating mga teachers to complement that we will perhaps have to hire non-teaching staff to handle those things, you know, at least for the teachers. POA adds the DepEd is also looking into giving non-basic wage benefits to teachers to augment their salaries, but offers no details on what kind and how much allowances the DepEd was looking into. In a statement, the Alliance of Concerned Teachers reacts to the DepEd's pronouncements on offloading administrative tasks and plans for the teacher's salaries. They raise that the DepEd should also provide all schools in the country with their own nurse, registrar, custodian, clerks, librarian, security guards, and utility workers. As of 2019, there are over 800,000 public school teachers in the country.